In this video, we'll try to recover the uh, image from the Fourier transform of the same image. So, in the previous video, we have seen the Fourier transform, which is uh, uh, shifted into the middle by using the FFT shift. And same image, we want to return back, I mean, we have to convert back to the original image or the uh, the reconstructed image by using the command a a is equal to i f f t 2. So i f f t means for inverse Fourier transforms, 2 is the 2 dimensional which is image. f f t shift you know because already we had done some shift there so we had to do the reverse shift f a f 1 and we try to display the value. So we can uh, find the output will be something like this. So we have figure number one and figure number two. These, this is the original figure and this is the figure after the inverse Fourier transform. So on the figure it is very clear that both images are looking uh, alike, okay, looking similar. Now let us try to degrade an image by adding some kind of noises, okay. So there are different types of noises are available. The first type of the noise which I am going to reduce is the salt and pepper noise. So it's like black and white noise. So the noise can be added into an image by using the command im noise. So x1 is a new vector or new array. im noise is adding noise to the image. A is the input image and salt and pepper is the type of the image. So when I run the program, I'll find an output something like this. This shows that the image is, you know, with salt and pepper. Now, in order to increase the intensity of the uh, noise, we can just introduce, we can just introduce some uh, uh, number here like 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So for the higher the number, then the intensity will be higher, noise intensity will be higher. So let us look at the output image. This is the output image with the uh, 20 percentage of or the 0 0.2 uh, intensity okay, or 20 percentage intensity. Now we will try to add another type of noise which is the speckle noise. The salt and pepper noise is also called additive noise whereas the speckle noise is a multiplicative type of noise. So this speckle noise uh, can be added into the image by using the command im noise. A is in the original image, speckle is the type of the noise. Again if you want to increase the intensity of the image, I mean the noise, we can add the figures like 0 0.1, from 0 to 1, we can use any any of these uh, numbers that can, uh, that, that shows the intensity of the noise. The figure 4 is the, the resultant image, so let us see what is the output image, okay. So we found that this is the final image I am getting for the image with the speckle noise. This is the image with the speckle noise. And the other type of noise is the Gaussian noise. And this part will help us to add Gaussian noise to the image. So the Gaussian noise is a mean zero uh, type of noise which follow the Gaussian distribution. And uh, we use the same command im noise Gaussian. We are not specifying anything which means that it will take the default value. If you go for higher concentrations or higher intensity, sorry, if you want higher intensity, then we can go for the numbers like this 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and so on. So if we run the uh, program, we'll get the noise which will be like this. This is the so we can find that uh, this is the original image and the image with what you call the Gaussian noise. So here we'll be uh, trying to add the periodic noise into the the uh, Lena image. So periodic noise can be generated by using this uh, following code. So this shows that the size of A, so we just got the two indices, the rows and columns x comma y is uh, generated in the mesh grid for the rows and columns and this is a sinusoidal function and then the sinusoidal functions is added to the image value and it is be displayed. So if you compile the program, the image will be something like this. So this means the 